gonna do a quick rundown on it anyway. We got this right here. Hey, we've had it for probably a couple of weeks now. I actually bought it for the wife. Uh, had a pretty good sale on them there. And so, too good of a deal to pass up. Pretty good discount. It is the Axial SCX-102, 1955 Ford F-100, ready to run now. It says ready to run, but it does not come with batteries or a charger, so that is up to you to make sure you provide the battery and charger for this. She fell in love with that body right there, so I got it for, for my lovely. I've done unboxed it. Just gonna run through what it comes with. It comes with the Spectrum radio. Okay, it's got your control up here. It goes 50, 75, and 100 percent. On off switch, throttle trim, uh, dual rates, uh, reversing switches on the top. Okay, of course, it's no, no big deal with the radio. It's just a two channel SDX2. And why they would put a two channel radio yet and are ready to run. No matter who manufactures it, is beyond me for a crawler scale. You need a minimum of a three channel anyway. But it also comes with all these goodies. It comes with some small light buckets. It comes with uh, your, your, your light bucket lenses and things like that in the package. Uh, it comes with a couple sets of bullhorns, some shock things, some light mounts, uh, and I've kind of played with this thing and made made some lights up for it. Now, what's so strange about this, what, what strikes me odd about it is that it does have a spectrum two-channel receiver in it to match the radio. It's an axial brand that evidently Horizon Hobby has purchased axial, which is fine. I ain't got a problem with that. This thing's got a dynamite DSC. Well, there's nothing wrong with a dynamite DSC. However, it's got two plugs coming off your ESC, which has got a six volt 3 amp BEC in it. Now, there's your truck. It is pretty. It's a bird truck. It comes with this style of wheel and tire, which are glued wheels and tires on it. These glued wheels and tires, but I don't like them, so I pulled them off. I went with these cheaper Paul Stars, which are true bead locks, and they look sharp, and they work for fine too. I've tested them in the house on some obstacles there, and they definitely are grippy. Now, the good thing about this thing, like I said, the, uh, the Dynamite ESC, has got a BEC built in. Now it comes with these already factory installed. These two light buckets up here are already installed. It's got your headlight buckets in there. It's got your signal light buckets in there. And it, it does come with some accessory buckets to where you can mount tail lights. I went up and above that and I, I did use one of theirs for a single red tail light back. But it does not come with all the screws that you need to mount these buckets and things. I have no idea where they're at. The body clips are up front here, which I've done pulled them out, so I can show you that this body hinges. This is a hinged body. You've got to excuse my wiring mess, but I've installed the lights up front here and the light buckets. And I put one single red LED in the back along with a couple of skull lights for the tail lights, which I I just had to do that. It's just me. I like to do things my way, I guess, so that's what I've done. Well, I also incorporated a push button switch right here for the ESC because the ESC has no switch on it. Uh, Dynamite ESC is like an axial ES ESC. Servo is a stock servo in it yet. The links are metal, but they are a thin grade metal, so of course your beef tube links would come in handy if you ever wanted to upgrade that. Uh, this being my wife's, my lovely's uh, little RC, it probably won't see a whole lot of action. Now, 
These are five millimeter cans, and these are five millimeter cans that's in the headlights and the signal lights. Me being an old man, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get the clips in, but I will put them in, and we're gonna turn this thing on and give it a quick test run. Be right. Set on two S light bulb. That's not too bad. Over here, like it. I put in it. I made it up. I'm hoping it shows up with it being daylight out here. I put two three LED, three millimeter LEDs. Running light skull lights. I'm hoping you can see that I lined them up the best I could with the eyeballs. This thing. And then I'm running one red LED right in the middle. Using one of their factory stock cans. Now it's still a brand new rig. I'm still running the plastic on the top of the on the top of the cab. Just to get it done. So, like I said, these come factory. These are my LEDs up here. Five millimeter lights. White. And of course I put the orange and the signal lights down there. I'm running yellow LEDs, three millimeter in the skulls, and one five millimeter LED in the tail light. There you have it. Appreciate you watching. You all stay safe out there. Hey, this is a pretty nice truck. It really is. It is an SCX-10 too. And it is a nice rig. It's proven, well proven, or strong proven. But all in all, I like it. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Be safe.